<clears throat> God bless you all. I got another awesome testimony here. Uh, wait for a few people to log on and, and then we'll get started here. I'm just going to be a couple minutes. Hallelujah, God. You're worthy to be praised. What's up, everybody? God bless you. <clears throat> wait for a few more people to get on here, then I'll get started and, and tell this awesome testimony here. All right, so <clears throat> another Uber uh, Uber driver uh, pulls up today, and and I look, and uh, right when she's pulling around up directly to me, God speaks to me and says, "This driver has back pain all throughout her back," and I got a word of knowledge about her back, so. I go and uh, I wait for her to pull around and this Uber driver lady, she pulls around and uh, I go in there I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know, uh, you want to just pull over real quick? We can talk a little bit and, and, and uh, wait for a few people to come out here. And she's like, yeah, of course. She pulls over and I, I broke the ice a little bit and then I asked if she was a believer. She said, oh yeah. And, and I ministered to her a little bit, encouraged her and uh, I just, I went out and asked her, I said, hey, by any chance, you know, do you have back pain and she's like oh yeah yeah all through my whole back and uh yeah it's real bad pain and i said well i'm gonna be honest with you when you pulled up the lord spoke to me and said you have back problems so apparently he wants to heal you <laughs> and i'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder and i'm gonna pray for you is that okay and she said yeah so i put my hand on her shoulder and and i said in jesus name actually i told her to pray for herself here and i told i said repeat that to me she said uh, Father, I, I believe that you're a healer. I believe that you're the great physician. And I thank you in advance for this radical healing uh, right here in this car. And I pray that you... God, I know that you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes, we are healed. And she said that prayer. And I said, all right, keep your eyes shut. In Jesus' name right now, Father, I thank you for divine healing. Uh, all the back pain right now come loose off of her. Uh, in Jesus' name, every disc to become whole. Back become whole. Father, I thank you for a brand new back. In Jesus' name, every pain needs to get out right now. In Jesus' name, I speak healing to flow right now in Jesus name she opens up her eyes she says uh, my goodness I felt something I said you should be feeling the warmth right now that's the fire of the Holy Spirit burning that pain right out she said I said do something you couldn't do before she's like oh my goodness what'd you do to me I said I didn't do that to you Jesus did that to you she said oh my god I, I felt the sharp pain I had a sharp pain all morning long and now it's gone what what the heck happened to my back and I'm like Jesus healed your back he is a healer, and he loves you, and you matter to him. God bless you. And she got up out of her car and, and was just rejoicing and was able to do what she couldn't do before. Oh, man, come on. Mark 16 and 17 says that these miraculous signs shall accompany those who believe. These signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. It's available to all believers. All you got to do is just walk in it. Walk with Jesus, man. See, Jesus says, those who believe in me will do the works that I have been doing and they will do even greater works than these because I'm going to the Father. So if he was raising the dead, if he was healing the sick, if he was walking on water and he says that you will do even greater works than these, man, that's powerful. So you've got the same power that raised Christ from the dead living inside of you. Now, Jesus did not only pay a price for you to get to heaven, but for heaven to get inside of you. Now, what are you going to do with that power? What are you going to do with this power? The, this uh, amazing gifts of the spirit that's available for all believers. What are you going to do with it? That's the question. Are you going to be bold enough to start a conversation that really matters? Or are you going to sit back and just be scared and, and, and be shy and miss the opportunity? Say, everybody is a chance to encounter the love of God. There is, multi, you know, how many people that you're walking past a day that's on the way to hell, or many people that need an encouragement, or many people that need healing, and you just got to ask God, say, God, I want a word of knowledge. God, I want to walk in the gift of healing. I want all my gifts of the Spirit, God. I want discernment, and He will give it to you because He loves you. And the Bible says that these signs will follow them that believe. It doesn't say these signs will follow those who have the gift of healing. It says believers, and it's available for you today. Now, my question is that I'm here to encourage you. I'm here right now on this live video to, to fire you up, to motivate you. And, and, and this week, at the end of this week, tomorrow, as, as we go into uh, the weekend, I encourage you and I challenge you to live the lifestyle that's Christianity and be bold and go up to at least five to ten people and just tell them about Jesus and ask God for a word of knowledge and he will give it to you. My God. 
That is awesome. Jesus loves you all and he wants you all to walk with him. And this is just normal Christianity. And uh, it's also proof. God proves himself through signs and wonders. And all you have to do is ask God for it. Say, fill me up with this boldness. And I'm actually going to start uh, making videos on here with PowerPoints and teachings how to uh, receive this boldness, how to talk to certain people with certain religions, um, how to love on them, love them where they're at. And how to just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make actually a script. It's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to uh, show it. But look, man, no matter what you believe in, no matter who you are, man, I love you. Jesus loves you, man. I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not here to condemn anybody. I'm just here sh to show the love of Christ, really. Because I wouldn't be a believer if I didn't have a personal encounter. Man, I'm having Muslims and atheists and Hindus just, and I I'm talking to them because it doesn't matter what they believe in. I still love them. But it's my job as a believer to share the truth of God's gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Man, I'm so excited because this is just amazing. Amazing that I had an atheist last Friday uh, come up. I think it was last Thursday actually. Uh, see, look, man, every Thursday something's happening. He came up to me, uh, he came around, and, and I went up to him and we started talking. And he just said he was an atheist. I was like, bro, I don't even know you and I love you, man. But it came down to the point where I said, grab my hand and repeat this after me. And he repeated, Jesus, if you're real and you're who you say you are and you did die for my sin, reveal yourself to me. Why can't we just ask for proof? Jesus is, he, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He's right here. He's not omnipresent. He's everywhere. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will be with you to the end of age. He will be with you to the end of day. I'm telling you right now, if you just tell people, look, man, don't even argue with them because you can't debate Jesus. Just say, look, man, you could talk about Bible. You could talk about religion all day long, but I just want you to know my God. And he's so loving and he loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son. And whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It's awesome, man. Tell people, look, taste and see that the Lord is good. All you got to say to them is, look, man, all I advise you to do is try Jesus. And if you don't like him, the devil will always take you back. <laughs> Glory to God. Look, man, I'm just messing, but love on people. Uh, go up to them and share the good news. Say, look, man, I got the best news. Today's the day of salvation. Today's the day to get right with God. Today's the, know Today's the day that I'll uh, get to know him and what he did for you. Do you know what he did for you? And just go from there. Say, look, man, has anybody ever shared the gospel with you? And share the gospel with them with love and just say, oh, man, that's cool, man. I love you. You know, God loves you so much. No matter what you're going through. I'm just like going off of examples here in, in uh and but what I what I really want to say is, hold on one second. What I really want to say is, all you have to do is just have that holy boldness. Just go up to people, be bold, man. You know, uh, when you and just when you taste and see that the Lord is good, man. Mm -hmm. It's just people may think that they cannot live uh, um, without Christ, but you can't afford to die without Him. You need him, and, and he's the only name that brings good news, saves people, heals people, validates prayers, cast out. I'm telling you today, God wants to flow through you. And if you don't believe in him, and if you believe in something different, I still love you. But I want you to encounter him. Just encounter him. I mean, I'm having Muslims encounter Jesus, and they're becoming believers. I mean, something has to be right here. Uh, God loves you. But he hates our sin because our sin separates us from him. Because he's a holy God. He says, be holy for I am holy. And I'm not religious, man. I, all I do, I, Christianity is just a relationship, you know. Jesus is my savior, not my religion. See, religion changes your behavior, but Jesus changes your heart. See, religion sets rules, but Jesus sets free. That's the line you got to tell people, man. People are stuck in man-made tradition, but... Jesus didn't die so that we can have religion. He died so that we can have an intimate, personal relationship with him. And he wants you to know him today, man. He wants you to communicate with him. He wants you to walk with him because he's going to lead you to where he wants you. See, it doesn't matter who has rejected you or neglected you. When God has selected you, it doesn't matter. His, his favor outweighs all opposition in your life. All you have to do is call on his name. That's it. But I encourage you today to receive this boldness in Jesus' name. Man, I, I go up to people and I tell them this, you know, that like I was saying, you know, our sin separates us from God and it leaves us a gap between humanity and God. But Jesus came to bridge that gap between humanity and God that sin created. And the good news is that there's a perfect life. See, even if you're a good person, you've never lived a perfect life. And the good news is that there would be a perfect life to substitute our life. 
that since God loves us enough to send his only begotten son to die for our sin, that Jesus is that perfect substitute. And through his death, you can have eternal life. And by his resurrection, death is defeated. That is the good news. And this gift is free. We can never deserve it. But just by accepting this gift, your sins will be forgiven and forgotten. And you'll be reconciled to God and live with him forever in heaven. See, Jesus came to lay down his life so that you can cross over to him to get to the Father. See, the cross is where Jesus had to go to fulfill a prophecy. See, God had in mind uh, his eternal plan that mankind was going to fall and that the only way that our sin debt would be paid is by a perfect life to, to be a sacrifice. See, Jesus is so different. All you have to do is encounter him, man. He's so good. My God, you are so good. He is the captain of salvation. He is the breath of life. And I just want to encourage you today to, to walk in this boldness, man. Walk, walk in it, man. I'm, every day, I'm ministering to people and I'm seeing an outcome. See, the past two days, I've had, I've had a lot of just persecution. But see, that comes with the anointing. That comes with walking with God. He says in his word, did you know if, that they, if they persecuted me, they're going to persecute you? See, they spit on Jesus. Start walking around daily and saying, my day is going to be better until I get spit on. Because if they did it to him, they're going to do it to me. See, Jesus says, he who hears you, hears me. And he who has rejected you, rejected me. And if they reject him, they're rejecting the one, who's, uh, the one who sent him. See, it's simple. All you got to do is walk in it. See, if God is for you, then who could be against you? No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue rise up shall be condemned. Look, man, you're the righteousness of God, and he wants to make his home inside of you so that everywhere you go, he just flows through you with signs and wonders. Don't you want to go up to people and say, hey, you have a pain in your ear. It's been bothering you all week long, and Jesus wants to heal you. No, I don't believe in Jesus. Well, watch this. Father, I thank you for a brand new ear in Jesus' name. And go from there, and they're like, oh, my God, like my, check your hearing. It's so simple. Honestly, it's the simplicity of the gospel. And God wants to flow through all of you today. And I'm excited, you know. But the last two days, you know, it was persecution. I, 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 I ran into, I was talking to a Muslim. I was just sharing my faith with him. And, and he got real mad and just zoomed off. But it's like, okay, Jesus still loves you, you know. And then I had another guy. He said he was agnostic. You know, he's not sure if there's a God. I shared the gospel with him. I told him testimonies about people getting healed. And, and he got so mad he couldn't, he couldn't back himself up. Um, with anything because I was just sharing I was just loving on him and he didn't like it so he's like okay I'm gonna end this conversation and pulled up his window on me I'm like dude I still love you bro but it doesn't matter and, and that man humbled himself and came up to me and apologized and God spoke to me said he has pain in his back I asked him do you have pain in your back he's like oh yeah I have a sciatic pain in my, my whole left side I said yeah it's your left side right and he's like yeah I said yeah God told me he's like oh yeah good one man I'm like no no seriously he told me and I prayed for his back and look man healing's flowing in his back see all you need is proof have a personal encounter, man. But that, but that's all. You know, I want to, I want to encourage you today and, and talk about this awesome testimony and, and this Uber driver lady. She claimed her healing, and and uh, it was definitely not a coincidence that we uh, interacted. It was a divine appointment between her and God, and it was so awesome, and and that that made my day because she claimed her healing and, and she left being able to just be so encouraged, and and Jesus touched her and. And he's calling her and she matters to him and, and you matter to God. But uh, I just want to pray with you. If you want to receive this boldness, uh, just repeat this prayer after me. Just open up your hands and have proof and taste and see that the Lord is good. Say these words. Say, God, I believe in this boldness. But I don't have it, and I want it. So I ask right now, in Jesus' name, to, to help me and give me this boldness, God. God, I want to walk in signs and wonders. Show me. Teach me, God. Lead me to the right people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, I pray for that. That you'll walk with boldness and, and you'll get filled with the Holy Ghost. See, John chapter 7 verse 39 says, Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. See, God is a fountain of living waters. And some people have a lake in them with no outlet when it should be a river flowing. See, Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, You receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. See, when I got filled with the Holy Ghost, 
I received power and I started walking in boldness. I started feeling this thing and I started walking with it and people started to, to get touched by God, but it's not me. I'm just an instrument for him to use. I'm just a vessel for him to flow through. See, I'm just clay in his hands. And when you just let go and let God, see, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so happy and I'm, I have so much joy because I'm seeing uh, God just revive things and people are encountering Jesus. And unfortunately, there's a misrepresentation, a lot of misrepresentation out there. But I'm just here to share the simplicity of the gospel that all have sinned, all have fallen short, and there's a penalty for sin. We, de we deserve to be eternally separated from God, but salvation has been provided. And the good news is that all you have to do is it, the conditions are simple. Now is the time to make a decision. All you got to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. But go and, and go to a, find yourself a good uh, home church, Bible-based church. Get uh, baptized, get filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. Get, ask Jesus to set you on fire for him. But uh, yeah, that, that's, that's just what I wanted to encourage you today with that and and it's been an awesome day, and, and I pray that God blesses you guys, and, and you receive everything that I'm saying, because um, it's not about views, it's not about likes, it's not about myself, it is about the King of Glory, and he allowed one of my videos to go viral, and have one point, almost 1.3 million people have viewed that video that I made, and it was for a reason, but it is not for me, it is for him. And I will continue to stay humble and walk in humility because true humility is giving God success for everything that happens in your life. And um, I take no credit. It was all God. And he allowed that to happen. And now I get to have all new people on my page. And I'm excited to just have you follow me as I follow Christ and, and to just share awesome. See, my page is to attract unbelievers and to uh, let the b believers be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, and just to be encouraged and motivated and to know that there is hope, to know that there is a God who loves you mm -hmm. and who died for your sins so that you can have everlasting life through his death and by his resurrection, death is defeated. It's really awesome, honestly. So my page is really to uh, bring videos of um, of what I do, the lifestyle that I now live, being a soldier enlisted in the army of the living Savior, dutifully obeying his marching order. And that's what my page is about. And just having you become also a permanent citizen of the coming kingdom. And that's what it's all about. So big things are coming soon. A lot of preaching dates coming soon. I'm going to talk about, um, I'm, I'm releasing something, some good news in the next couple weeks. And then I'm working on an awesome uh, short little movie clip, little episode about... Uh, a boldness. So I'm not going to say too much about that because it's going to be really cool and really fun. And I'm going to actually have you guys um, be able to be a part of something that I'm doing and uh, something that I'm, I'm going to be a leader of. And I'm excited to announce that soon. But man, it, I'm excited. So big things this year. Um, and I, my, my page is just a page to attract unbelievers and keep the believers steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. Always remember that when you go on my page, that I just want to encourage uh, and have the Christ in me, inspire the Christ in you to actually function uh, in this lifestyle. And that's what it really is. And like I said in one of my other videos, if you're... Uh, the only one of your job that knows that you're a Christian, something's twisted. That's called selfish Christianity. Like Todd White says, if you don't know him, look him up. He's, he's powerful. And he's the reason why I received this whole big boldness. The Christ in him literally inspired the Christ in me to function the way that we're supposed to. So look Todd White up. He's my, one of my favorite preachers. I love hearing him. I'm actually going to see him in April and um, or the end of March. And it's going to be awesome. But take the basket off your head. If nobody knows you're a Christian in your job, and show the light. Show the light because Jesus is the light of the world and he's living in us. So tell people this weekend about the gospel and God will speak to you while you're ministering to them. Just ask him for it. Receive this boldness in Jesus' name. And, I, and I'm looking forward to uh, announcing a bunch of new stuff that's going to happen soon and just uh, uh, making more live videos and uh, Shout out to my, my brother Marcus Rogers and then my prayer partner. Uh, he had a powerful word tonight, so go follow him if, if you haven't yet. I know most of you probably do. Um, and he's coming out here soon, and we're going to connect, maybe do a live video together and, and uh, fire up some of you guys. And um, 
But yeah, he's an awesome man of God. I go check his page out. And I'm excited to uh, also connect in ministry with him too. He, he's, he's very anointed and just on fire for Jesus. And God has brought him a long way. And, um, and I, I pray for nothing but success in his life because he, he's such an awesome guy. So go check out Marcus Rogers too. And uh, just look forward to some awesome things. And, and just know that it's not me. It's, it's God flowing through me in everything that I do and everything that I say on this page. And... Um, I encourage you to share this video for people to receive this boldness, um, this holy boldness, and, and for people to encounter Jesus because uh, the light of truth cannot be turned on for you. Mm -hmm. You can only be shown the switch. So as you show the switch to people, it's up to them to flip that switch and to activate it. Say, okay, I want to know the light of the world. Uh, God, I give you my life. Here's my life. I give it to you. I believe, you know, or if they don't believe, say, okay, if you're real, reveal yourself. That's all it takes, man. An open door and God will back you up with this power. See, you witness, God saves. You plant seeds, God sends somebody else to water and he will bring the increase. Amen. Will you all be blessed? I'm not going to be too long here. Uh, and you have a wonderful night.